The Rock beat CM Punk. All right, that's the end of the time. <laughs> <laughs> it could be that easy. Yeah, yes, really, The Rock really is essential. winning this match. It essentially is. So, uh, yeah. Elimination Chamber main event is going to be The Rock defending and uh, retaining the WWE Championship against CM Punk. They can't advertise it that way yet, but we all know that's what's going to happen. Uh, so I don't even need to ask this time, like, uh, to, you know, to figure out the opinions of, does anybody think that the other person's going to win? Nobody, nobody's uh, with Punk. It's a full goal Not conclusion. even with the ridiculous, lame-ass, last-minute stipulation that they added on, just to make us think, oh, could they do something with him being disqualified or counted out, when it's clearly just to do fans who don't see past the bullshittiness of it. Mm-hmm. Rock's winning. We know there's no getting our... We can hope and pray that Rock takes an F5 and Punk pins him and takes the title back so we don't have to go through Rock Cena 2 at WrestleMania, but we know it's happening. He's beating Punk here, the only, and the only we get question twice is, in the time. If Punk was going to be in that match with Cena and The Rock, Punk would have still had the title in by now. Right. Exactly. Uh, so, and it would be stupid at this point in time to give Rock a one month reign. It would be really stupid. So I see. Although I would oh. say it's not like it's gonna hurt him or anything. No. <laughs> no, but, but, but they the were, they have the title on him to promote WrestleMania, so he's definitely not losing it. That's the thing. Right. But yeah, they have him to go would... on the talk shows and promote his movies and then, oh look, I got a bling bling belt and uh, let me talk about, you know, Fast Seven or whatever the hell that's coming out next. <laughs> that's why they have the title on him. It's basically the Miz times a thousand from WrestleMania 27, but with uh, vagina jokes. Yeah, with with vagina jokes and crackhead stories and all that good stuff that you know is so thoroughly entertaining. I want to hear like the actual backstage uh, story, like instead of The Rock being like The Rock is going to come down <laughs> to Atlanta and he's going to win the title and he's like have The Rock come out and be like let me tell you a story. The Rock came down to Vince McMahon's house and he said I want to be the champion again and we negotiated a contract and I didn't think it was enough money and then you know, <laughs> like, just be honest about it. That would probably draw huge heat, and that'd be a great well, heel character. Know, so, Talk about how dissatisfied you are, despite being a movie star, despite <laughs> being champion, just because the money wasn't good. The Rock wanted a trailer. It wasn't big enough. The Rock got yeah, a bigger yeah, trailer. Exactly. It wasn't big enough. Make him even, yeah, he's he's smart Mark Rock. It, it, it might rival Hollywood Rock as being the biggest heel he's ever been, the best heel he's ever been. <laughs> so, so they fed The Rock CM Punk, and The Rock can't really move much anymore because The Rock's too big. So then the rock, the rock ended up having Punk carry the match the whole time, and then there's Rock versus Cena two, and we know you don't want to see Rock versus Cena two. And Cena carried him too. <laughs> Before yeah, Punk badly. Him. That's Cena's badly. gimmick. He carries people on his back. Except for... I don't think he did that <laughs> good of a job because I know Cena doesn't exactly. easily carry yeah. people, but I think he should get, be given at least some credit. No, I just meant the light, really. It was just I'm a corny joke. Mike. Because he said he didn't do a good job, and I begged match, for sure. Cena versus Rock at Mania was one of the worst Cena matches I've seen. That to me it was, and I've seen much worse than that. Cena's carried Swagger better than he carried The Rock. Oh, come on. That was clearly Swagger just keeping up with Cena. <laughs> <laughs> so, remember when Swagger was ECW champion? Yes, that was a great match. Yeah. So you're saying that Swagger and, and Swagger was awful back then. He wasn't that bad. He was awful. <laughs> Not only am I going to obviously say The Rock wins this match, but I'm also going to say he wins with a rock bottom. Does everybody yeah, agree got, about that? He has to make it up for that people's elbow, right? I mean, he's he got to finally finish elbow, this whole two-month feud wait. off with a, with a rock bottom. Yes. I'm saying The Rock wins by DQ. He oh, win, be a wins bastard. by DQ. And then, and then this leaves the begging question: What does Punk do at WrestleMania? I'm just saying they're going to keep it open ended. He faces the Undertaker. It's going to be a screw job finish. I doubt it. But yeah, yeah it remember, Taker take might sense. not be healthy enough, but we all know the truth. I think that they're just bullshitting that. I think Punk, that they found out months ago that he was still going to do it, and they've just been teasing this because they Punk, can't. Yeah, Punk unfortunately has to take on the streak while he gets neglected. A WrestleMania main event that he's earned for about three years now. Punk Punk comes out on Raw and he bitches and complains and he says, "Lights uh, go out." You know, 
these people come in and they don't wrestle as much as I do and fuck that and uh, I should still be the champion. I should be going into WrestleMania with a streak going. I'm going to yeah. take it take it away from The Undertaker. I'm calling you out, you old man. Like that kind of thing. Yeah. Undertaker. Uh, he has to call the mark at least once. Right. Undertaker doesn't do anything <laughs> the first week. Maybe the next week he comes out and he goes, oh, Undertaker, look, you didn't... Uh, you didn't answer my message. You're a pussy, you know, so on and so forth, and all that. Eventually, one Undertaker does you come back. Be loved. I love you. <laughs> I want to have your babies. So yes, while we're talking about the three extremely predictable and definitely locked main events, those being Rock and Cena, Triple H and Lesnar, and Punk and Taker. Punk and yes, Punk. Rock's winning again. <laughs> Rock's winning. Yeah. If I know he's last the Rock is winning. Champion because he's definitely not staying champion after WrestleMania. So. Uh. His only successful title defense will be here. Well, you've been a little quiet in this part, uh, so I want to get your thoughts on it, Mike Payton. I, you, you finished this in the first two seconds. Rock's winning. Good night. <laughs> I, I, I don't know Rock's why the conversation is still lifetime. going. We can't get around it. Yes. <laughs> Payton's saying the same thing like you said before. Like I don't care. <laughs> there's, there's nothing, nothing to care about. <laughs> there, there, yeah, there, I mean, there's there's been no build to this match. I mean, the last go home promo we got from The Rock was a fucking story about crackheads. <laughs> it, it was no, no, fuck this. At least he got GTS for his troubles, though. So it's not like he stood tall after that debauchery. Yeah, I have typical WWE fucking, uh... for all that shit that he's putting on through. The Rock is a part time champion. All right, well, that should end off the Elimination Chamber talk, which brings us into the plugs. Uh, you know the Sign Me Up deal. Bring a smart out moment signed to any kind of wrestling event, especially uh, Mania. If you want to check me out, I'll be doing it. Uh, and send me a picture or a video, and I'll put you up on the website and all that kind of, that kind of stuff. Check out everything that's in the outro that you'll see later. Those are all my links, blah, 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 blah. There's me. Tagging and Braden. Okay, you can subscribe to me at my YouTube channel. It's www.youtube.com slash foodbeast for all the latest in mainly Nintendo talk. I'm basically just been talking about Super Smash Bros. on the build-up to E3 2013, the long road to early to mid-June when they usually hold that conference. So that's what's going on on my channel. Stay subscribed to this channel. Keep hearing us be a bitch and moan and praise wrestling when we do. It's very rare, but we do do that, I think. <laughs> I think we all thought Extreme Rules was pretty good last year, so... <laughs> Ziggler's <goes awesome. laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, it does happen. It's not all of us just bitching all the time, but, I mean, this company doesn't really give us, you know, much to be happy about for <laughs> very much of the years. So they can't really blame us. Like, this pay-per-view, for instance, I'm sure we'll all be bitching about it next week. I'm sure so, there'll be some rants and raves and yeah, yeah, yeah. some so, good parts and some, oh my god, what the fuck? Or, or maybe it'll just be awesome and the booking will be perfect and we'll have nothing to complain about whatsoever. Yeah, I hope. Yeah. So just stay subscribed to the channel. Keep watching uh, episodes week to week. That's the most important plug anybody on here can do. And basically just to tell you, spread the word of Smart Out Moments, Smack Talk. It's a great show. It's great to contribute. And I want to do more, so let's keep this train rolling. Tagging in, Carlos. Um, well, I, I'm actually just on Facebook, uh, Carlos Santor and Covington. Um, I'm usually hang, hanging about these guys on Friday nights. Love talking about wrestling. You're and, um, thinking about us on Friday nights. Oh, no, no, hanging out with you oh, guys. Oh, and no, I'm oh, okay. out. I only, only think about okay. you hand in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> You're gonna really like that uh, audition video, then, aren't you? <laughs> oh yeah, man, my nipples are getting hard already. Um... <laughs> Still not the worst episode we've ever had. <laughs> the, uh, the elimination chamber on the flip side, because um, this Sunday I'm gonna be actually checking out a show with my family. It's a comedy show my brothers won ticket for, so I'll probably either catch the replay or check it out on the Beach Report. So I'm gonna uh, tag it on to Peyton. All right. Well, you can find me personally on Twitter by searching M R P A D E N. That's Mr. Payton. You can also check out my podcast called the Keeping K Keeping Kayfabe Podcast, where wrestling is still real to us. Damn We've it. just recently, 
Thank you. We just <laughs> recently revived after a, about a four or five month hiatus, so it's good to get that rolling again. Uh, it's been nice to make the occasional appearances here on Smack Talk. I always appreciate coming here, Anthony. Thanks for having me, and I look forward to coming again sometime. And remember to check out Newbie TV and everything else going along with that. I didn't want to take it forever. Uh, pass on to whoever else. For him. Yeah, check his stuff. You'll find it all www.nerdgenius.com um, I'm asking for donations for a movie that I'm making, so peeps please, if you're actually it. getting <laughs> fuck you, Tony Mango <laughs> if you can that was Sean, what um, about? donate a little bit yeah, you know, the, from as little as five bucks um, up to wherever you can, basically um, igotgameplay.com youtube.com forward slash igotgameplay we're available on Stitcher, we're available on um, iTunes, we're available on YouTube, we're available everywhere, including BlackBerry Podcasts now, just so that you people know, and also Zoom. Um, if you love gaming, if you love everything about it, please tune into to Over Gameplay. We're going to be doing a special episode in the coming week on Pokemon with special guest Tony Mango, and we're going to have a uh, another individual on there as well, so please check that out, guys. And it's, it's a great show. If you think this show is bad, check out I Got Gameplay. <laughs> so much better. And the guy who hosts it is brilliant. Nah. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, all the fanboys anonymous and all that other kind of stuff. It's Mark Out Moment team. You know, we're all going to say goodbye to you because this has been another Smark Out Moment and we're being counted out. Adios, everybody. Check one, two. Outro. What I've got you, Tony wants you. He gets you on your knees and he listen to the podcast about wrestling, please. Get on your knees. Get down on your knees. <laughs> Tony is begging you, please. To get down on your knees. White supremacy. I thought this, I thought this was an answer about Sonny. Ha 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 